presentation here on 2K Sports. Joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us on the sidelines. DA, it's all yours. Thanks, Kevin. Last season, Stephen Curry set the all-time record for three-pointers made. He said, hopefully I can push it to a number that nobody else can reach. I never wanted to call myself the greatest shooter until I got that record. I'm comfortable saying that now. Kevin, he's not the only one. Yeah, pretty unanimous, David. You're right. Thank you. Now, Golden State's starting five. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. And for Orlando, Harris is the shooting guard. Wagner is the small forward. In the post, it's Bancaro and Carter Jr. And it's Anthony in at the one. For so long, the Golden State Warriors were waiting to be back at full strength. But when one guy comes back, it seems like another goes down. The injury bug has been a real challenge for them. So Golden State will get the first possession. Anthony against Curry. Out to Thompson. Three-pointer. And it's Wagner with the rebound. Injuries, though, are not to go the Warriors. RJ have met head on. Yeah, it's impressive how they've overcome those hurdles, insisting on still playing their best basketball, even when they're shorthanded. And they've had a chance to develop some younger players when the older guys, the established players, were out. Got to use these opportunities because five minutes can go to ten, just like ten minutes can go to zero. Well said. Now here's Curry. Coming off a solid outing against Miami. Wiggins outside. Thompson a screen on it. Here's Curry. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And you're asking for trouble when you give Curry this positioning. He's so efficient down there. Anthony looking it over. Curry with the rebound. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing it's early. Not going to go that time. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. This game against Golden State is the first time they've met this season. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it'll be the first of only two meetings between the teams. As a player, these ones are fun. You get to match up with guys you rarely see. Hey, they've broken the seal. Three misses to start, but now they're in business. Here's the pass to Kerr. Over Anthony. And he overshot that one, missing. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Bancaro kicks to Anthony. Passes it to Wagner. With three, Harris. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Outside, Green. On the wing, Wiggins. What a terrific move that was. And flashing some real toughness inside. Wiggins can finish plays that others simply can't. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now here's Anthony. 11 points last game. Carter outside. Lock at six. 
And here's Harris from the arc. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. First team foul. That one on Thompson. And the Magic right now, missing that franchise player. Might have one of their young talents develop into that, but currently they lack that star. The first one falls. And as we know, Greg, the NBA is a star-driven league. Hard to contend without a top 10 player on the roster. The, the Magic have been patient in their approach. And one player taking a leap this season would be huge. Ties it up. And this next one could give them the lead. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And at this point of the season, Greg, many coaches still are maneuvering their lineups, trying to find the right formula. Especially the younger team. There's no real established pecking order, and guys can be wildly inconsistent from night to night. Orlando, they've gone just one for five in the field to start the quarter. Pass to Ben Carroll. Anthony against Curry. Anthony with the bucket. Boy, he is looking confident. I love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Here's Curry after the made shot from Cole Anthony. Thompson outside, launches it. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Just an unselfish play from Curry. Always ready to move the ball and his body to help an open shooter. Harris with it. Outside Anthony. And it's Looney with the rebound. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Tries the spin move. Out to Thompson from downtown. And Carroll grabs the ball. For the Orlando Magic, they come into this one following a loss to Oklahoma City. Live by the three, die by the three. If you're perimeter dependent, you don't really know game to game how it's going to go. You would have liked to have seen them make some adjustments and attack the rim, but they just kept firing from distance and couldn't get much of them. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. And Carroll passes to Harris. Pass to Van Carroll. And finished off by Van Carroll. Oh, what a strong finish from Van Carroll. His guys love when he throws it down. Looney kicks to Curry. Now here's Green. Tight defense on him. It's deflected. Hogner finds Harris. Outside Anthony. Carter with a screen on Kirk. Anthony, the pass to Carter. Carter against Green. The pass to Looney. Good! Great point by Green to set it up. Nice timing on the pass from Green. Finding the open guy with ease. Here's Faulkner. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And for Orlando, it's been a tough decade. We would agree on that. Greg, they've only won two playoff games since 2012. Well, they've only made the playoffs twice in that span as well. So they've got a lot of draft picks lined up in the next few years, and they need to make good on those high picks.
and the first one drops. GA with their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green, the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time, the, the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. No good on the second free throw. Warriors trail by three. Inside, Green. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And this is where Green looks to score. He's comfortable and confident down low. Bolts against Curry. Now, here's Fultz. He's guarded closely. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Markel Fultz. That is his first foul of the game. you got to be in control when you go to the rack, and he was not. You can't just run guys over. The Magic making a switch here. Isaac's checked in. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Stephen Curry. Poole, the pass to Thompson. They set the pick. Takes the three. That one misses. The Magic go the other way with it. Harris against Thompson. Isaac a screen on Poole. Isaac outside. Once again off the mark, Orlando. The Warriors have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Now Poole. 17 points in his last outing. Thompson is screen on bolts. Here's Poole. The nine-footers on the mark. And the Warriors lead by one. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Passes it to Wagner. Van Carroll with the ball. Kaminga on him. Isaac with a screen for Fultz. Down low. And Isaac throws it down. Yeah, his instincts are on display here. Fultz, a really good passer, excels at setting up teammates for easy looks. Fultz against Poole. And here's Wiggins. And he also played a big role in their last game with Miami. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Bowl, he's checked in for the Magic. And then for Golden State, Peyton, he's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Clay Thompson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Markel Fultz. That's foul number two for him. Picking up that second foul early is tough. He'll have to be careful and we'll see how much coach trusts him to not get that third. Anthony's checked in for the Magic. Looney finds DiVincenzo. Cool on the wing. Covered by Anthony. Five on the clock from down low. Oh, that's blocked. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Now, here's Bull. Outside Anthony. And a miss there on the triple. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Poole kicks it to Looney. The feed now to Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his bounce, well, that kind of levels the playing field. Anthony with it. Kaminga picks him up. Harris against DiVincenzo. Here is Harris to the left wing. Wagner passes to Harris. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Harris, no good. 
Golden State's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Come on, Looney. He may be a veteran player, but he continues to overachieve. Just last year, he set a new career high for reboundings in a single game. As a player, it's your job to keep improving yourself, and Looney has never lost sight of that. Nice work there to get a body, seal off his man, and collect the glass. That is textbook. Anthony, the pass to Isaac, launches a three, sinks the three-pointer. Isaac's got five points so far. And you just can't let Isaac get that much room to shoot it from deep. He's a very consistent three-point shooter with a fluid shooting form. Orlando leading. And that's a foul. He called on Bull Bull. That is his first foul of the game. And yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. We've got 155 left to play here in the first. Anthony against Poole. And it's Kaminga at the elbow. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Harris dishes to Anthony. Wagner is green on Poole. Anthony, the pass to Wagner. 119 left here in the first quarter. Poole kicks it to Looney. To the middle. And Kaminga throws it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G8, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take it. Here's Bowl. The Warriors making the shot. Shoots over Kaminga. Bowl, that's good. And the Magic lead by two. Yeah, inside, Bowl does a great job just making subtle adjustments and utilizing that length. And Kaminga throws it down. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Pass to Isaac. Fires for three. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Aiden finds Poole. Let's it go from 11, and Bull pulls it down. Orlando's gone 1 of 5 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Anthony against Peyton. For three, Harris. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got six rebounds now in the game. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Warriors lead by three. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. close game for the first quarter and we'll see what happens here in the second and a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors they've got bowls Franz Wagner is out there with Markel Fultz then there's Van Carroll and it's Wagner into the five roaming the paint that's the group start the second quarter for the Magic now here's Curry Green with a screen on Fultz. Curry fires from way outside on the three off target. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Fultz with the ball. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Six on the shot clock. It's tipped. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Now, Green, he had 19 points in the win against Miami. And he did just great offense for himself now. He did a tremendous job of setting up his teammates as well. And he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. 
Fultz the pass to Van Carroll. Wagner left side. Bowl setting the pick for Wagner. Makes it off the glass. Yeah, he was able to take it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. The Warriors lead it. And here is Curry. Here's Kaminga. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter. From outside the arc, Bull can't hit. Warriors have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Curry can't get it to go. The Magic have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Fultz looking around. Pass to Bull. Curry brings the double. And Carroll passes to Wagner. It's oh, good. He makes his first shot of the game. And smart ball movement there from Van Carroll. And that selflessness will endear him to his teammates. Green against Wagner. In the corner, it's Wigan. And the Warriors miss again. Magic have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Curry against Fultz. Pass to Van Carroll. Bowles setting the pick for Van Carroll. And it's Bowles that time on the assist from Van Carroll. Bowles got four points now in the quarter. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Curry with it. Now guarded by Fultz. And it's Fugner with the rebound. Magic leading by three. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's Fultz. And Orlando again with the bucket. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Wiggins surveying the floor. Passes it to Curry, trying to get something going. And again, no good by Golden State. Just an ugly show for him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. And Carroll passes to Bowl over Curry. They get it back, and he uses the glass on the lane. Bowl's got the lead up to seven now for the Magic. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. In your younger days, RJ, you had seasons where you averaged over 22 points a game. Some players uh, later in their careers struggle accepting smaller roles, different roles. As a player, talk about that challenge. Self-confidence is a weird one. Sometimes it can work great for you, and sometimes it can work against you. For me, personally, as I got older, I loved finding the challenge. And the challenge was how could I star in my role? Was it as a 10-point-a-game score? Was it as a 20-point-a-game score? Or was it as a 5-point-a-game score? Because ultimately, you have a chance to have an impact on the game. And I love basketball, so I was going to take any role you were going to give me. What a great answer. You. So in other words, you've always got to evolve always get to evolve and it's always going to be adapt or die especially as you get older you have to adapt or your career is going to end i would have never played 17 years if i didn't adapt Checked in, and the Warriors also making a change. Thompson's checked in.
Magic on defense. Only given up two points this quarter. And the Warriors miss again. And then they continue to control the play. Wagner kicks to Bancaro. Wagner has screen on top. Bancaro out to Carter. Shot clock at six. Here's Ben Kim. Warriors with the rebound. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Floats it up for Wiggins, and it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by DiVincenzo. A moment now to check out some numbers for Wendell Carter. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Here's Wagner. And it's off the back rim. No good. Warriors trail by five. Wiggins left side. Back to Curry. Pass to Green. Six to shoot. Even Genzo with it. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got four assists now tonight. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for the Orlando Magic. RJ, you played against Draymond Green. Do you agree with him when he calls himself the best defender in NBA history? Of course not. He's not the best. But he's worth his way here at the top. I'll give my guy that. And look, he's a defensive player of the year, and he has been in consideration multiple other years. It's his versatility that gives him such a boost on that other end of the floor. Wagner against Wiggins. Pass to Curry. Beyond the arc. Warriors getting another chance here. Here's Green, and he gets it to go, Green. hitting off the back Green. of the rim. Green's got six. Anytime the Warriors are getting shots like that from Draymond, it is a good thing for their team. Wagner has Green on Thompson. For the three. Does not find the basket. His third miss. He's made just one so far. Outside Curry. The pass to Wiggins. Fader on the way. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. And Wiggins can take the mid-range when he has to. His touch makes that an option. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Isaacs checked in for Mo Wagner. Gary Harris comes in for Van Carroll. And Anthony subbed in for Wagner. Then for the Warriors, Kevon Looney is checked in for Green. Gary Payton comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. 
And Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. Here's Fultz. Carter with a screen on Poole. Fultz the pass to Carter. Anthony against Peyton. Back to Carter. Clock at four. That shot off. Wiggins with some nice D. The Warriors trailing. Peyton outside. Passes to Poole. There's the pick. Over Fultz. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Poole's got his second basket of the night. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. Anthony kicks to Fultz. Isaac with a screen for Fultz. 13 feet away. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. They're playing with so much confidence, which is why they're tearing it up from this end. Back to Poole. Good work defensively by Carter. Had enough room to finish, and that's what he'll usually make. Now, here's Fultz. Out to Harris. Carter sets the pick for Harris. Over Thompson. Another miss by Orlando. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, Richard, the one thing that jumps out at you about Gary Payton the second is his incredible leaping ability. Oh, man, he is an elite athlete. I love watching him rise up, especially because he's a little guy, as well as the way he uses his athleticism on the defensive end. It's what's made him such a valuable part of this rotation. That's good from Peyton. You spent two seasons, Richard, with LeBron James in Cleveland. What was it like to play with LeBron? Well, I like to think that LeBron was playing with me the entire time. That's the way I viewed it, but it was amazing. I should have reworded that. I'm sorry. Thank, My mistake. Thank, thank you. I, I think LeBron James was outstanding to play with just from a camaraderie standpoint, and he always wanted to make the right pass, which, you know, for pundits, they complain about it, but for a teammate, you love it. You love playing with a guy that tries to play the right way night in and night out. His understanding of the game must be off the charts, correct? It, it it is so ridiculous the way that he just sees the game before it's happening. He is easily one of the smartest players that I have ever been around. Carter finds Fultz. And here's Anthony from the arc. No good there. And it's the Warriors ball. They're on an 11-2 run. Poole, the pass to Looney. That's it. He's got two made now. And he's shooting two for three. Magic trail by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Carter outside. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. the pass to Wiggins. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Heading to the court. It's time to get loud for your 407 dance team.
for Markel Fultz. The Warriors also with a sub. Jonathan Kaminga. He's checked in for Wiggins. So it's Anthony bringing it up for the Magic. Six-point game. They host the Kings after this game. Shoots over pool. Anthony's shot is off. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. He's been off. Still, they're up. So not all is lost. Thompson against Isaac. The three from Anthony. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. Here's Poole. That shot off the mark. The Magic go the other way with this. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. And here's what the schedule for Orlando looks like. On Saturday, it'll be the Sacramento Kings coming into town. And then on Monday, the, the Houston the Rockets will come into town. Two shots. And that one falls for Bull. And like his father, Manu. Bowl's combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. He's perfect from the line this time. And here's Golden State. They're on a 15-4 run. Pass to Payton. Looney kicks to Poole. Kuminga with it. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Heat, Miami. And the foul called on Kevon Looney. That's his first foul. The Magic trail by four. Now Harris. And the layup's good off the glass. Harris has got five. Guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Payton kicks it to Looney. Pass to Poole. Here he goes. Good work defensively by Anthony. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. The Warriors on top. Ending the second quarter on a 15-6 run. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and I think we've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing through. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Hi folks, it's shaping up to be a good second half as we've seen the Orlando Magic trying to take control of this game. The stat that jumps out to me is their lousy three-point shooting. The perimeter is looking like a lost cause for them. Might want to switch it up. Right, because even if they start hitting those shots, threes alone aren't going to solve their problems. All right, and now time to give some recognition. Players of the month. Out in the East, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, the Greek freak, always a great pick for this award because he's so consistent. Gives the team an anchor on both ends. He's always getting better, and his teammates love playing with him. Such a great guy. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action.
second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game that's been so far. Really an incredible game from Bowl Bowl. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Kevon Looney out there with Andrew Wiggins. Thompson finds Green. Golden State moving it around. Wiggins outside. It's Curry outside. It's hauled in by Harris. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. And there's the pass to Ben Carroll. Here's Bull. Up and in on the way. And that's 12 points for Bull Bull. And guys, this is kind of Bull's role. He's out there to score, and he does it in a variety of ways. Looney passes to Wiggins. Thompson outside for three. He's off on that one. Orlando leading. And here is Anthony. Eight points for him. Passes it to Ben Carroll. Down low. Here's Bull. And the dunk by Bull. Well, that's just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. Thompson outside. Let's it go with a three. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And off to a bit of a slow start in the second half. Both for three so far. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And it goes on Tremont Green. And Vaccaro doesn't back down from anyone, which is why he's able to draw those fouls. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. And a big man who can do a little bit of everything. Boncaro's future is certainly bright. Mo Wagner's checked in for Orlando. We got this. We got this. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Warriors trail by four. Higgins outside. He dishes it to Thompson. And the Warriors miss again. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. And it's Wagner missing. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a buck. Looney kicks to Kirk. Outside, Green. Five to shoot. Fades back. And the Warriors get it back. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Now, here's Ben Carroll, covered by Wiggins, and that one's good, Wagner. Some slippage at the defensive end here in the second half, allowing the offense to establish more of a rhythm. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Looney with it, defended now by Wagner. Outside, Green. Thompson for the triple. Rebounded by Anthony. Magic leading by four. I admire Thompson's toughness. Gets it from his dad and from his mom. Yeah, his mom played volleyball in college. His dad was the first overall pick in 1978. Played in the league for 13 seasons. You know what that's called? Good genetics. On the wing, Wiggins. Curry against Wagner. Curry shot his off. The Magic have gone 4-6 from the field since the start of the third. 
Van Caro dishes to Harris. And it's Curry with the rebound. Curry's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Pass to Curry. Now Looney. There's Green with the three. Looney kicks to Green. There's the pick. Goes back up. Looney passes to Green. Shoots over Wagner. And again, it's the Warriors missing. To the paint. Here's Van Kill. And he converts the lane. Van Kill's got six. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Curry. Higgins outside. Thompson, a screen on him. Curry way outside. The offensive rebound. The shot by Looney, no good. And it's the Magic's ball. They're on a 10-2 run here. Harris dishes to Van Carroll. Up top, Wagner. Kicks it to Anthony. Back to Wagner. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. And now an eight-point Magic lead. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Curry passes to Wiggins. No good on the triple. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Van Caro dishes to Anthony. Pass to Wagner. With three, Harris. Van Caro kicks to Harris. the triple and the rebound goes to the Warriors Wiggins has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one now the pass to Thompson it's tipped dishes to Green fires the three Orlando grabs the miss Rodgers got rebound number nine now what an effort here tonight outside Anthony and that's a foul. It's called on Cole Anthony. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Orlando making some changes. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Gary Harris. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for Anthony. Here's a look here for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga. He's checked in for Kavon Looney. Gary Payton comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Clay Thompson. And Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. Now a timeout called by Golden State. coming off an excellent season. Put up about 15 points per, 10 rebounds, and 2 assists. 
Uh, to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. He's someone you can rely on to bring it on a nightly basis. When they need a basket, he's the guy they turn to. Green kicks to pool. Isaac against Peyton. Pass to Poole. Shot clock at six. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Isaac passes to Wagner. Fires the three. The three. And no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. The three from Poole. Good on the three-point shot. Poole's got seven points. And how about the terrific use of the cross over there to just throw the defender off balance. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That's his first foul. Oh, he's checked in for Mo Wagner. Coming on to the floor from your magic. Oh, oh. outside back to Carter magic moving the ball around out to the wing just five to shoot Fultz misses off the right iron and so Peyton will bring it up for the Warriors pass to Poole and he dunks it down just the kind of play they need in a game this close you know that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader no doubt that's the kind of play that can energize the whole team and they will take it in a close game like this warriors trail by three now here's di vincenzo five points in the game with the ball to the inside there's Kaminga and Kaminga throws it down the finish was nice but the setup was better yeah GA the pick working to full effect before the stuff yeah you like the pick to set up the open shot but when it leads to a dunk okay even better he'll take it Carter with a screen on pool no good again that time and it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Peyton kicks to Green for the lead. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Orlando trailing here. Now a timeout called by Orlando. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. Uh, that's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated.
These teams were last season's best passers. The squads with the most assists in the NBA. Number five, the Warriors. Just a gifted passing team. They play the kind of basketball that fans love to watch. Very unselfish and fluid offensively. against Poole. Carter with a screen on Poole. In the corner, Bull with it. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster. Already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. Green against Isaac. Carter right side. Over Payton. The Magic again can't hit. The Warriors lead it. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You watched his work. Why is it? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays, but he can also vocalize it to the audience. And of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. And Poole gets it to go. Something seemed to click for him at halftime. He's looked a lot more focused, and the game is just easy for him now. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And Fultz gets it to go. And providing the support where they need it. That stops a 12-0 run by the Warriors. Carter against Green. Floats one up. And it's sent back by Carter. He's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Here's Kaminga. He's got 12. Pass to DiVincenzo. Five to shoot. From deep. And Bull pulls it down. Bull's got his fifth rebound in this one. He kicks it to Carter. Wagner against DiVincenzo. And finish off by Wagner. An automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one hand stuff to get the two points. Back to Poole. There's the three. Orlando grabs the miss. Poole's got six rebounds now in the game. The dish defaults. Second chance shot, and it's good on the way. Poole's has got six. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. One second separate in the shot clock in game. Clock. Now, Poole. The pass to DiVincenzo. Green breaking loose. DiVincenzo can't hit it. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Orlando out in front. They lead by two. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. He'll be proud of that one. Bigs love when their passing skills are noticed. I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. They've got Anthony. Bull was out there with Van Carroll. And there's Fultz. And it's Isaac in at the three slot. Gets is out there for Orlando. Here's Looney. Rebounded by Isaac. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for the Magic. The lead is two. 
outside Anthony. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. And it's Bancaro missing. Wiggins against Anthony. Thompson dishes to Curry. And here's Looney. Curry finds Kaminga. Inside, here's Thompson. And it's sent back by Isaac. And that long lead's there, Isaac. And there and turning away his shots, but it's also the timing he displays when he attacks the shooter. Harris is checked in for the match. Here's Kaminga, and the Warriors miss again. And uh, the Magic shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Isaac passes to Anthony. Passes it to Van Carroll. Down to five on the shot clock. And oh boy, a little contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The power behind Van Carroll's move. The rookie pushes his shot through despite the contact. Hollow Van Carroll. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Warriors trail by four. Pass to Looney. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. And it's Thompson with the jam. Oh, is the bounce still play? Okay, I see you get off the floor with a little ease, with a little dunk. Curry against Anthony. Here's Van Caro. Here's the floater. And Curry pulls it down. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. There's the screen to take the lead. Orlando grabs the miss. And Carroll's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Now here's Anthony. Pass to Isaac. And here is Harris. This one for three. Another miss by Orlando. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Here's Thompson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Gary Harris. Oh, he's so good at getting defenders to foul him because Clay looks to shoot. Pretty much every time he touches it, it forces defense to overcommit. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Magic. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Harris with it. Now, Van Caro. Isaac outside. Van Caro was screened for Isaac. And too long on the shot. 
the Warriors have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Wiggins gets to Kaminga. Thompson for the triple. And Bull pulls it down. Bull's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? Back to Anthony. Pocket six. And the pass to Van Carroll. Misses, and the dry spell continues. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. And here's Looney to take the lead. And it's Curry playing it in. How do you stop Curry? Well, in a short answer, you can't. Here's Anthony. At the elbow, Van Carroll. That one falls, coming off Anthony's feet. Anthony's got three assists in the game. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Kaminga. To the middle, here's Thompson, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And to see your son break final success in the NBA, I can only imagine that's going to be so special for you. It is. I'm a proud papa because something that so few get to experience. So I couldn't be more proud of him and happy as well. That free throw good from Thompson. You love Thompson's dedication to the game. He's dealt with some tough injuries, but he never stopped looking ahead. Always focused on making his return to the court. Carter, he's checked in for bowl. And so Thompson nails both of them. Didn't get to the line in the first half, but since the break, he's been in attack mode. Great adjustment. Orlando trailing here. Carter outside. Passes to Isaac. Harris against Thompson. Harris dishes to Anthony. Just four to shoot. Orlando needs to get off a shot. Pulls it from the elbow. And that one hits back iron. Warriors have gone two of seven from the field. And what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Wiggins passes to Kaminga. Taken away by Anthony. And now Orlando on the break. Anthony leading the charge. And finished off by Ben Carroll. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. Important two points. Not just on the scoreboard, but also for a little bit of momentum. Here's Isaac. Good on the shot. And the Magic lead by two. And always seemingly under control is Isaac. He, even when he gets roughed up, he just manages to complete the play. Harris against Thompson. Outside curve. From past the arc. No good. Shot missing. And Orlando will come the other way. Anthony, the pass to Carter. Misses from close range. Golden State's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Outside curl. And it's off from three-point range. Well, Orlando shoot just 30% from the field here in the fourth. Harris dishes to Van Carroll. Carter outside. Anthony, the pass to Isaac. Just five on the clock. Isaac with a screen for Harris. It's rebounded by Golden State. Pass to Kerr. Now, here's Looney. Back to Curry. On the way, Wiggins. 0 
for Harris. Wiggins finds Looney. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Checked in. Raymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Curry. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. During that last break, I got a chance to hear what Jamal Mosley said to his team. With this game still up for grabs, he told his team, hey, we're in position to take this one, guys. Let's stay focused and stay together, and we'll get it done. We'll see how it plays out, Kevin. Thank you, David. the ball. Anthony dishes to Bancaro. Carter with a screen on green. Six on the shot clock. Bancaro with the ball. Working on green. And hustle like that is why he leads his team in rebounds tonight. And let's be honest, guys. Rebounding is about want. And he is playing with 110% effort. against Anthony to take the lead. Cool, no good. Orlando's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Van Kuhn. Good for his sixth make and a dozen attempts shooting 50% with that basket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket.
Just jumped in for Anthony. For the 407. Thompson's got nine points now in the quarter. Now, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Now Fultz. Kicks to Carter. Down low. Here's Ben Carroll. Misses from short range. And so Green will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. It's a one-point game. And following this one, they'll take on the Hornets in New Orleans. That will conclude a five-game road trip for them. Six to shoot. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. I like when Green looks to score. He's good at putting defenses in a bind. At the line for the Warriors, Draymond Green making two shots. one falls for what I appreciate most about green is his leadership strong vocally on and off the floor both free throws good from green and they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Fultz the pass to Harris. Here's Van Carroll. Passes it to Fultz. Some nice ball given by the Magic. And it's Wagner missing. Warriors leading by three. And Thompson kicks to Green. And here is Poole. Here's Thompson. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Who can forget? Clay has played in countless finals games. He is used to this pressure. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. timeout called by Orlando. Orlando. Trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. And it's time to get loud. It's your 407 speed.
The Magic trail by six. Here's Bancaro. Looking to end the run. Out here trying to get open. Bancaro, that's good. Bancaro's got ten points in the quarter. A huge reason why Bancaro was selected first overall. Because this team trusts him to be that guy. Timeout called the Warriors. And now, please welcome the four of seven. Warriors leading by four. Pool up top, guarded by Fultz. Now here's Pool to the paint. Here's Thompson. It's hauled in by Harris. Edgar on the wing, covered by Wiggins, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Clearly a foul. Second team foul. At the line for the man, Ron Wagner. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Both free throws good from Wagner. And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business at the line. Thompson against Harris. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Thompson is so cool under the rest. He has easy to play personality, aiding him in these types of situations. and that makes it a three-point lead. He's just a superb free-throw shooter. Clay Thompson's exactly who you want on that line. You need him on that line. And so both free-throws are good. And it's a four-point ball game. And this is how you execute. Creating any type of separation is huge right now. Now, here's Van Carroll. He's covered closely. 
to the inside. The Warriors pull it in. Look at these Warriors leading by four. Thompson outside, inside, kicks it out to Wiggins. Offensive rebound. Looney passes to Poole. Fades and shoots. Offensive rebound. Green. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Paulo Banker. He was in with so many finals games under his belt. Draymond is used to the big moments. Great guy to have at the line. First one drops, and that puts them up by five. Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for the Magic. is his second attempt at the line. No good. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Carroll passes to Kerr. It's good! What a beautiful shot to put him to within three. Always a threat to score. Ben Carroll that time with a sweet punt. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Thompson kicks to Green. Thompson sets the pick for Green. Shot clock at six. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Green. Thompson's got the lead up to six now for the Warriors. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They trail by six. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Please give a big round of applause for your Magic Youth Dance Team. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Van Carroll with the ball. He's against Green. Yes! Used to these big moments from his college days. But Carroll's heartbeat should stay low here. Timeout called the Warriors. They're ahead by four. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one.
20 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, you, you have to do At that, though. You Warriors, can't just let him dribble the game. Out. Jordan Poole. At the line for two. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can handle the second. And he ends up making the second, and that puts them up by five. 19 seconds left in the game. Pass to Carter. Here's the three. Got it! And he has brought them to within two points. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would like right to foul someone different. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. You've got to figure those are the free throws that officially put this game out of reach. And it's Van Caro missing. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You, you know, it, it really was. It, it, Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded forward they can be. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Clay. This was a grinded-out win. How did you pull away? Uh, defense. That's simple. Uh, it was a sloppy game at times, but, you know, we're making missed shots. That's a given, but one constant you can have when you play this game is how hard you play on defense and how focused you are. And I felt like besides, you know, not boxing out at times, our defense was amazing tonight. You certainly turned it up at that end, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. So long and good night, everyone.